Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're on a fucking warpath. We need to get back. Virginzo. Virginzo number seven. Specifically number seven. Specific because Jinzo, uh, Jinzo number one is still in our deck. He's now lonely because for some reason his little brother, the Jinzo number seven, is gone. It's interesting that Jinzo one is really good and Jinzo number seven has no effect and he only has five hundred attack points. What happened between model one and model seven? That's the thing is that they never introduced is the Jinzo like number six who was like kind of a fail. We're gonna I'm gonna put up the right arm of Exodia. That's how serious I am. <laughs> That dude's gonna be fucking thrilled if he wins. Yeah, he is. All right. Good start. All he right. won't win though. Right. Fuck him. Fuck yeah, him. Yeah, put down that invisible wire and then attack with our uh, flappy man. With uh, Gail Dordaga. Gail Dogra, yeah. Damn right. Yeah. And he's not even a good man eater bug. What up, bitch? What up, bitch? Do you think we would forget? Go ahead, attack into our wire. Yeah, I knew it. You wouldn't. You afraid now? Fucking scared. <laughs> Remember this face. This is the face of No! Oh no! Okay, thank oh, God. Oh, just that just takes his turn. Who gives a shit? All right, that's fine. Your shitty traps mean nothing to us until we get <laughs> revenge for Jinzo number 7. <laughs> oh, this guy's oh, fucked. Yeah, remains. Does not get a buff though. Get a buff, though. Apparently, Apparently it's done by monster type, not by element. Still, he isn't a thousand attack. Yeah, he's a thousand away. attack points. It doesn't matter. That guy yeah. has got nothing that can do that. He has that. nothing. He has literally nothing. Congrats, fucker. You're gonna die now. <laughs> this is exactly. This is exactly like. Wasn't there a plot in was it five Ds when they lost the um when he lost Stardust? Uh, something. You I think that's the opening. Uh, mon the opening. Oh, parasite! Parasite! You son of a bitch. That's okay because we're gonna do more life point damage now because he has nothing to defend himself. No, that's true, but he did get rid of my thousand attack monster. That's good to know when we're fighting legit Weevil. Frog the Jam. What a weird card. It literally is like replace an opponent's good monster. That's way better than its actual effect. I don't know. Its actual effect is pretty good, in, at least in Duel Links. I mean in the, the game. Okay, there. Goodbye. You're done. Attacked into the wire, didn't it? Fell for the Parasite Parasite Double Gambit. Get out of my fucking face. I'm not even going to use the Dark Hole Gambit on you. I'm just going to fully shit on you. Just just, just destroy you. For Jinzo. <laughs> we need to play like the Braveheart theme over this. All these monsters attacking him at one time. Just play that, uh... The draw monster card. From... Yeah, the Yugi. <laughs> the last card that he was about to draw before he stopped. I don't oh, want your obese marmoset. That's not even... That's not equivalent to Jinzo number seven. This is nothing. You've given me... I do like his name as the obese marmot of nefariousness. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is nothing if not fucking incredible at naming things. I'm never gonna get back to Jinzo number seven. I think it's time to come to this realization. We're gonna have to go on some kind of spirit quest to get him back, but now I have to legitimately beat Weevil for Jinzo number seven. In his memory? Yes. Hmm. What could possibly... You know what? Skull Servant, you're going to be our new go-to guy now. You're going to have to... It's a low-level... Never mind. Apparently. Oh, there's a, apparently there's a tier list of antis. Yeah, that means Jinzo... That's, the game recognizes Jinzo number 7 as a legit card. <laughs> that's a quality anti card. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... Oh, I actually go first. So I'm going to go Mech Chameleon. It's my opening hand. And then I'll put down, face down, Pot of Greed. Because this game's weird. Okay. Oh, this guy's completely fucked. Because look, I'm about to use... I like that. This is like actual Yu-Gi-Oh! now, where I'm going to lose my entire hand and then just get it all back. <laughs> oh, Pumpkin! Yes! Next turn. God bless... It's all coming together, boys. Yes, our deck is, you know, we need... It's unfortunate that we lost to Jinzo number 7, but that was the only way for us to take this game seriously, is that if we experience loss... All <laughs> of a sudden, we're trying really fucking hard. Just in the background, it's like the... <laughs> the, the, the end of Stardust Crusader style, like, as we look on into the, the after, we see Jinzo <laughs> number 7 up in the air. Will that be there? You did not make it with us. 
Okay, time to attack. Okay, that's what I thought. That's why I didn't attack with Skull Angel first. <laughs> with the Pumpkin. That's right. This is from our good buddy Bones, Social Link 10. We saved his graveyard from a rare hunter. <laughs> this guy is so... Our best friend, Bones. Our good buddy, Bones. You don't know anything about friendship. You know nothing. All you are is a worthless pile of trash. <laughs> Before... See now we've turned dark. We've turned <laughs> we turned a real corner. The loss after... of Jinzo turned us. Uh, it's hardened us to the world. Yeah, it's it's like when Joey lost the red eyes. He had to learn if he wasn't a good enough duelist without the red eyes, and he didn't deserve the red eyes. <laughs> Hopefully, Yugi wins Jinzo number seven back for us. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the game, that guy's gonna be waiting for us after we won Battle yeah, City. Yeah, that's gonna be the post credits battle. Is he's gonna be standing there? It's gonna be Yama Yugi with Jinzo number seven. Let's go one more time then. Oh man, I would love this universe. I love this universe way more. Or right, let me see. How much attack this? Okay, yes. So I can't use my amazing gambit. Nah, fuck it. You don't deserve the dark hole. What you are gonna get is the pump king. Pump king to the face. Eat that fucking pump king. Get fucked. Get pumpkin. Yeah, get, get pumpkin. Oh wow, we get M Warrior too. We didn't even need to fucking buy him. Are we actually nice. gonna get good cards now that we're betting <laughs> um the left arm of Exodia? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I think it's apparently it's tier based. Huh. I did not know that. Well to be fair, Jinzo number seven did give us Jinzo uh number one. Well, I think you get the same card from the good guys no matter what. Because uh, wh imagine your only win against Esperoba and you get some shitty-ass card. <laughs> you get the Jinzo number 7 <laughs> instead of the actual Jinzo. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, look at that 1100 fusionist. Oh, that Fuck is power. that. Are you kidding me? That's, that's insane. That's power. That's true power. I'm going to put out Frog the Jam even though I'm pretty sure he's about to get <laughs> shit on. See, told you. And it is, yeah. Oh, Kuragashi, bastard. Oh, two traps. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna put down wood remains. I think I know what he's gonna do. Yeah, infinite dismal. But it's fine as long as he doesn't tribute summon. Okay, <laughs> I was about to <laughs> be real afraid there. Yeah, I can go mask of darkness. There we go. And then next turn. Oh no, I want to keep Mask of Darkness alive for my ritual spell. That's fine. We're never gonna actually legitimately use that ritual spell anyway. No, I don't know why it's still in the deck. It's just <laughs> deck fluff. It is deck fluff, but you know, I think the idea is because I want to summon it, and also apparently ritual monsters don't suffer from the um, elemental chain, so you can't oh, kill them. Oh right, weaker. that is good. That is like legitimately pretty good, but. All right. I love Wood Remains' face, by the way. He's like, like, ah, look on his face. He's like, ah, it's Monday. <laughs> it's the start of the day. <laughs> Am I right? It's the start of the work week. Ah. <laughs> Getting that grind on. <laughs> he looks like a guy who would say, <laughs> oh, wait. Let's get that bread. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Every time he attacks, he says that. <laughs> Just nonstop, let's get this bread. Even Yom is like, oh, I have to, I have to attack, guys. It's, it's I gonna be. To. Guess what? It looks like it's bread o'clock. <laughs> Did I get okay? Thanks for giving me the fuck guy. Ah, <laughs> take that, Griggle. <laughs> I like to think everything he says is just in that tone of voice. Ah. So he attacks, and he's just like, ah, fuck you, Griggle. <laughs> Eat it, Griggle. <laughs> oh, hey guys, what's up, Griggle? <laughs> Rainbow flower. Goodbye. 
Oh, this poor cat. All oh, right, we're gonna give this to Griggle. The ultimate disrespect. Griggle, Griggle for the W. Exactly. That guy has to go kill himself now by the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh. Exactly. He's like, well, I lost the game and my life, but. Oh, and now we got M Warrior number one. Look at that. All right, we didn't even need to fucking buy him. So some duelist in here has to have the Jinzo number seven. We're just gonna have to go looking and fighting every single random person until we find <laughs> until it. we win it from somebody. Exactly. Um. Let's see. I think we're good to. Yeah. Let's. Let's fucking go, Weevil. Get your fucking posse away from me. Well, fine. Fine. Well, fine. Yeah. Dick. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fuck you, Weevil. I don't think he understands the power of our deck. This is the uh, his laugh this, is not. Unzis. After we lost to Jinzo number seven, we renamed our deck to the Jinzo number eight. <laughs> it had to be done. Wow! Look at this fucking. <laughs> this is an insane. Go wood remains. We're so hungry for vengeance. We suffer through wood remains going ah ah sweet vengeance. <laughs> Let's get that vengeance, boys! <laughs> For number seven! Every, every time he kills a monster, he goes, Ah, the bread is... The bread! <laughs> it must be made... <laughs> from vengeance! Bread vengeance! He's just like... So fucking over the top for no reason. <laughs> He's Nobody like, yeah. else is into it as he is. No one is. By the way, and he has no idea that everyone is not into it. <laughs> no one is as into it as him. <laughs> he's just so fucking proud of himself. Ah, uh, he, he also looks like he's like, uh, he's the guy who goes, uh, he makes a real, he puts down a tweet, and then uh, a week later goes, a really underappreciated tweet, by the way. <laughs> you know what he looks like to me? He looks like that meme of the Pikachu who's gasping. Oh, he does. Ah, basic insect. <laughs> Away! <laughs> by the way, this this guy's getting shit on. He should have never took it away, Archidzo. You stupid bitch. You stupid bastard. You know why? You have nothing. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> now die! Ah! <laughs> He didn't get it done, though. Larvos is actually the one who has to get the kill. <laughs> He's sitting there gloating like it was him. <laughs> ah, <laughs> truly. I did it. Ah. All thanks to me. <laughs> 3,000 dominoes. Insect queen. Wow, we took your queen? Damn. That's like... Uh, <laughs> Weevil's on Twitter like, My queen. My queen has been lost. We have My to queen. He just posts pictures of her. <laughs> Cashed into queen. Does this mean we have cucked Weevil away from the <laughs> insect queen? I do think that technically, yes, it means we cucked Weevil. What up? That's the name of this episode, by the way. We cucked <laughs> Weevil. <laughs> oh, I you feel take pretty. Our number seven, you take your Exactly. You first you take our man and now we take your girl. <laughs> Yum I'm the strongest in dual city. Punk ass. Don't you ever fuck with me. Don't you ever come to me again. <laughs> okay, give her back the gins of number seven. I, I, I don't I lost it. I don't know where it went. <laughs> you should rip that fucking insect queen up in front of him. Oh, that's the ultimate the tags, by the way. We're going to have to tag it up with uh, uh, um, NTR. That's just that kind of against Weevil. That's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> All right. Let's save it up. I think we did pretty good. We found another locator card. Well, we didn't do pretty good. We did lose the Jinzo number seven, but we have created the ultimate deck in the Jinzo we've number eight. Though, to vengeance, and now we are so much stronger. Yes, we've gained a new friend. <laughs> we've gained a new who is uh, very interested in getting that bread every single day. <laughs> <laughs> it would we, seem... we lost Jinzo number seven, but now we have wood remains. We have wood remains. All that remains is wood remains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. 
Thanks again for joining us. We'll be back to try and find more locator cards. We're going to have to find that puppet man and eventually get the Jinza number seven back. Maybe. We'll find them. We'll find them. Uh.